All right, we are opened up to page 381 and 382 in our math workbooks. We're going to correct last night's homework. So last, yesterday we worked on finding least common denominators and converting fractions into equivalent fractions with those LCDs. That's what our homework did too. So, okay, we had number two through four, eight, 14, and 15. So number two, we were given the fractions three-fourths and two-fifths, and we needed to find the least common denominator for them. Well, the first number that both that are multiples of four and five is 20. So 20 should be your denominator, your LCD. Then when we go and convert three-fourths into a fraction with 20 as the denominator, it becomes 15 twentieths. And then two-fifths, when we convert it into a fraction with 20 as the denominator, becomes 8 twentieths. Are there questions on number two? Show me on your hand, one through five, how did you feel about number two? How did you feel about number two? Okay. Okay. Awesome. Go ahead and put your hands down. Number three, we were given four-sevenths and two-thirds. So... We have seven and three. The first multiple that seven and three have in common is 21. So 21 is your least common denominator, your LCD. When we convert four sevenths into a fraction with 21 as the denominator, it becomes 12 21sts. And when we convert two thirds into a fraction with 21 as the denominator, it becomes 14 21sts. How did we feel about number three? Show me on your hand. Number three, how did we feel? Okay, how do we feel about number three? Okay, Philip, how'd you feel about number three? Okay, all right. And then we had number four, so we were given the fractions one half and seven elevenths. So two and 11 are the two denominators. When we list multiples of two and 11, the first multiple they have in common is 22. So 22 becomes our least common denominator, LCD. When we convert one half into a fraction with 22 as the denominator, it becomes 11 22nds. When we convert 7 elevenths into a fraction with 22 as the denominator, it becomes 14 22nds. How do we feel about number four? Okay, how do we feel about the number four? Okay. Awesome. Then we had number eight. So number eight, we had 15 and nine, or we had nine fifteenths and four nines. So 15 and nine are the two denominators. So for this one, you had to list a little bit more numbers than you've had to in the past. Um, when we are listing multiples of 15 and nine, the first number they have in common is 45. So it was a little further out there than normal. So 45. If we convert 9 fifteenths into a fraction with 45 as the denominator, it becomes 27 45ths. And then 4 ninths becomes 20 45ths. How do we feel about number 8? That one was a little difficult only because you had to list more numbers and try and find it. How do we feel about number 8? And I want you to be honest with me. How do we feel about number 8? Okay, okay. Nice work. Frankie, sit up please, bud. How did you feel about number eight? Okay. All right. Overall, were we feeling pretty confident confident on page 381? Okay. Are there any questions on page 381? Okay. Let's go on to 382 then, where you had 14 and 15. So 14 and 15, you needed to list all of the common denominators for both of the fractions. So when I was walking around, I saw some people who marked one that was correct. You were supposed to choose all of the ones that are correct. So for 14, we were given two thirds and seven ninths. So three and nine, we needed to pick numbers that both three and nine go into. Now, for six, three goes into six twice, but can nine go into six? No. Um, three and nine both go into nine. Three and nine both go into 18. Three and nine both go into 27. Then for 30, Three goes into 30 10 times, but nine cannot go into, into um, 30. Nine goes into 27, 
then we'd have to add another 9, which puts us beyond 30. For 15, we had 1 9 and 1 half, so 9 and 2. 11 is an odd number, so 2 can't go into it, so we know that doesn't work. For 16, we know that 9 plus 9 is 18, so it does not go into 16. 18, 9 and 2 both go into. 36, 9 and 2 both go into. And then 45, we know 9 times 5 is 45, but it's an odd number, so 2 cannot go into 45. How did we feel about 14 and 15? Show me on your hands, 1 through 5, how did you feel about 14 and 15? Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Awesome, you guys. Overall, how did you feel about this whole homework assignment? All together, how did you feel? Okay. Awesome, fifth grade. What I'd like you to do is take out your math notebook, open up to the next clean page for today's notes. 